Some of you might remember these little toy submarines you'd get for free inside of cereal boxes. You'd put a little bit of baking powder in the compartment, drop them in some water, and they'd submerge and surface seemingly magically. Of course, this is all done by carbon dioxide bubbles, which are released when the baking powder mixes with water. In Make Volume 26, Bob Netzger shows you how to make your own diving toy out of a potato. He calls it the Spud Marine. Start with a potato and cut it down to about three or four inches long and about an inch across. Using a quarter inch brass tube, punch three holes down through the top. On the bottom, enlarge the center hole to make it a flared conical opening. This will create an air chamber for the bubbles. For the periscope, cut about an inch off of a quarter inch diameter wooden dowel and place it through a hole you've drilled into some light wood. It should fit snugly into the top of the center hole of the potato. The periscope will help get the right buoyancy. Time to test that out. If the sub sinks right to the bottom, it means to cut some of the potato off. If, on the other hand, it floats, you need a little less wood in the periscope. When you've got it just right, your sub will slowly sink to the bottom. Now it's time to add the baking powder into the bottom of the center hole of our sub. Remember that baking powder is not the same as baking soda. Use another piece of dowel to tamp it in. And now it's time for the maiden voyage of the HMS Tuber. Let's see what happens. Looks like it works. Now I wanted to try to make a more spud-like sub, so I used an end in my pile of scrap potato. Let's see how it goes. Oh, spud marine fail. Looks like I have to tweak the design a little bit. Oh well. Anyway, check out Make Volume 26 for this project and many others.